guys everything tech pro here and today in this video i'm going to talk about mac os sierra 10.12.4 and i'm going to compare it with the mac os sierra 10.12.3 so the first and main feature in the mac os sierra 10.12.4 is night shift so night shift reminds me of ios 9.3 when first actually night shift was rolled out and it was available for all devices starting iPhone 5s. Then Night Shift has become a very very popular feature in the iOS and Apple claims that you can get good sleep if you turn on the Night Shift during the night. So Night Shift has made its way right from iPhone to the Mac. But like the iPhone uh, the night shift feature is not supported on all the devices because of the type of display each and every Mac uses. So you can have a toggle in the notification center where you could turn on and off. And I'm going to be doing that live uh, when I just update it. So it is available for MacBook Air mid 2012 and later, MacBook early 2015 or later, MacBook Pro mid 2012 or later. Mac Mini late 2012 or later, iMac late 2012 or later, Mac Pro late 2013 and later. So my Mac is on the list of supported devices. That's a good news. So I'll show you how to turn on and off and how it works. So next up, I'm going to talk about some other main features that have been uh, featured in this release. So now Siri adds the support for cricket scores and statistics even for the Indian Premier League. Like the KFC Big Bash in Australia, I guess, now uh, the Indian Premier League, which is some kind of uh, the same league in India, now Siri can answer you uh, questions regarding that as well, even in your iPhone when you update to iOS 10.3. Then it, it resolves the PDF rendering and annotation issues in preview, that is when you open the preview and try to view some PDF file, then actually uh, there are some rendering issues which were previously there but now the problem has been uh, resolved and it improves the visibility of subject when uh, using the conver uh, conversation view in mail and it fixes an issue which may prevent the content from appearing in mail messages so that is all new over here now next up what I'm going to do is I'm going to be running the Geekbench and AJA system benchmark test and then I'm going to tell how the scores are take some screenshots and then when I update my Mac to Mac OS Sierra 10.12.4, I'm going to be again running the Geekbench and we're going to be comparing the scores. So now uh, let's see the scores which I got here. So this you could see the AJA system bench already going on. So this is Geekbench. So I got a single core score of 2585 and a multi core score of 5321. And the AJA system test, I don't know why it's causing some trouble, but it just stuck in between. And uh, now you can see the write speed is 284.5 and the read speed is 328.8 all in megabytes. So this is the uh, uh, the AJ system test and the Geekbench test. So next up that comes in mind is what will the update be causing? And the second thing is whether you will get extra storage after updating to uh, the macOS Sierra 10.12.4. That's a real big question. Because in the iOS 10.3, you now have Apple file system. So uh, people have been claiming that they are getting a lot of uh, uh, storage uh, being available to them. So we don't know what's going to happen. So let's find out after we do that. So before that, let me try and update uh, my uh, software, uh, give for software update. And let's see how much space it takes. I'm going to give download and restart. So it's about 2.12 gigabytes. So it's definitely going to take some five to seven minutes for uh, download and uh, uh, within the meantime we'll go and check my um, capacity of the uh, hard drive i have a 250 gigabyte hard drive among which 249.8 is uh, uh, the capacity and i am left with 96.7 gigs 77 gigs to be precise so let's take a screenshot of that as well and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna gonna go and give the update and let's see uh, how much space becomes available when I finish the update. And anyway, it's going to take some time. So uh, when I finish that, I'm going to be coming back and I'm going to be running the test again. So let's see what happens. 
So stay tuned guys, I'll just update and come back uh, after all the things are done and then uh, we'll see what the scores are actually. So guys, I'm back after updating. Now let's go and see the version number here. It says Mac OS Sierra 10.12.4. So it has been successfully updated to the latest version. So before I uh, show you the night shift feature and all the new things that have been implemented, let's see the Geekbench score and compare it with the previous version. So previously, let's see the result. So <clears throat> the single core score and multi core score have gone up. So the single core score has gone up to 2601 and the multi core score has gone up to 5420. Not much of a change, but this improved performance is always welcome from Apple. And now after that, we'll see the AJA system test scores, how the read and write speeds have uh, improved or not improved as compared to the previous version. So I'll open the file. Yes, now you could see that <clears throat> The write speed I previously had was 284.5 megabytes and now it has come up to 297.5 megabytes. So these variations are often possible. It's going on like that. But the read speed has decreased from 328.8 megabytes to 321.5 megabytes. So the write speed has gone up and the read speed has come down. So not much of a change in the read and write speed because these only change when the type of disk gets changed or there is something big like the Apple file system being implemented in iOS. So on that also, I'll be making a video. Please do check out. So before we proceed, I need to quit it. So it is not responding. So let's go and force quit the AGA system test. So force quit, force quit. So now let's go ahead and uh, check the disk. Uh, status so previously i had was 96.74 gigabytes and capacity was 249 gigabytes so let's go and check the info so after updating i the, the capacity remains the same but the available came down by a couple of gigabytes that is now i have only 94.1 i don't know why this happened but I think this is normal for uh, a computer to uh, gain more storage and free up some storage. Maybe cache did not clear up. So next up, I'm going to be showing you how to enable night shift. Is it something different from the iOS or is it the same? So first of all, let's close all the notifications and you need to go to the today view. And I don't know why it's not coming up. Maybe I'll try scrolling up. Yes, there it is. You can see along with the do not disturb, you now have night shift. So you can just click the toggle and then the night shift will turn on and uh, unfortunately I think the night shift will not be reflected in the screen recording therefore you're not seeing the difference. So I'm seeing the difference personally on the screen but you may not see that. So you can change the night shift settings by going to the uh, display. You have a night shift as a separate tab. Over there you can schedule your night shift just similar as the iOS. You can increase or decrease the temperature but I'm seeing the changes but you can't as I previously told the night shift mode is not recorded when I do a screen record unless and until I use another camera to record the screen so you can change this by dragging the toggle left and right but it's better you keep it in the center because more warm also is not good for your eyes and it also consumes more battery so and you also have the airplane display option right available in the bottom it is also available in other tabs such as color, night shift and display. All three tabs has the airplay mirroring option over there. So next up, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, PDF uh, uh, rendering by preview that was fixed. So I'm going to open up a PDF file in which while, while I click the file and press the space, now you can see below the node one, all the three arrows are coming in the correct form. Previously, all these arrows were scrambled here and there and it was not in the correct mode. So now this problem has been fixed and you could see the file is docx file. And even in the PDF, if you see, sometimes the color and all the uh, reconstruction, like the, the theme of the PPT file uh, was not displayed properly. So uh, next up, uh, I'm going to be showing you how Siri performs when I ask about cricket scores. So just I need to connect to the Siri. So just wait a second. I'll do that. So now I'm going to go and tap the Siri and did it come? Give me the cricket scores. So 
So you can see the cricket scores right there. And sorry, you're not he hearing the volume from Siri because I have my headphones connected off. There is some fault with my laptop's microphone. So now uh, let's ask the IPL question. Hey Siri, give me the IPL standings. Yes, you could see the IPL standings is being displayed in Siri. So this is the other update that Apple was talking about. So that's it guys. I hope this is all that Apple has changed in the newer version of Mac OS Sierra. It's a bit faster. The disk read and write speeds are almost the same. For me, the storage has gone down by a bit, but you may get more storage. It depends on computer to computer. I don't know why. And now you can see it shows 95 gigabytes. I don't know who, what is actually going on. So let's see. Yeah, it was a two gigabyte lag previously. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So previously it was a two gigabyte lag. Now it has come down to one gigabyte. I don't know what is going on. Then I ask uh, this, the available uh, different times. I'm getting a different result. That's interesting. So that's it guys for this video. I'll see you up in the next video. Until next time, it's peace out.